I'd like you to look at a short film designed to help you be more aware of motorcyclists on the road. Who knows? It could keep you from being involved in a crash one day. Why is that important to me? Because I ride a scooter and I love it. I ride to get around and for fun. I've taken a rider training course and try to do everything right on the road, but sometimes I feel invisible out there. The things I've learned while riding have made me a better car driver, and you may learn some good tips too. It's possible for scooter riders and motorcyclists to ride legally and still become involved in a crash, most often with a car or truck that doesn't see them. We all do our best on the road. Well, most of the time. But the one time a car or truck driver doesn't see someone on a bike, it's gonna turn out badly for both of them. Too many drivers hit motorcyclists each year. What you're about to see might help you avoid becoming part of the statistic. Well, tomorrow's the wedding. Yeah, my cousin. Oh, you didn't forget about that. Yeah, she made um, the best. No, I tried that one year, but I couldn't um, really. Hold on a second. Yeah, honey. Where's my white shirt? Uh, it's at the laundry. We're gonna get it on the way, okay? A stupid recital. For the same reason he has to go to your soccer games. Now your dad's busy, I'm it. Okay, I gotta go. Oh, bye. All right, here we go, guys. Seatbelts. Hey, baby. I wish you didn't have to work today. I know, it's just for a few hours, hon, just until Freddy can get in. ER's gonna be nuts today. Half the staff's out sick, so. Will you be home in time for Indian princesses, Daddy? <laughs> of course I will, sweetheart. Oh, I love you both. We love you too. favorite song. Well, Lewis needs to think about his recital, and I need to think about all the stuff I gotta do today, okay? Okay, just so me. Helen, honey, wake up. You're missing a beautiful day. What are you doing? Just hanging out. Come on, hang out with us. Where? When? Um, half hour. Meet us at the diner. Okay, well, I'll see you in about an hour. You hurry up. Yeah, I gotta run. Fill to the brim, Becky. I'm bushed. Long haul? I've been driving all night. Got one more drop, then I'm heading home. I'm getting out of here early today. Can't wait. I'm gonna take my new bike out for a ride. Mom? Yeah? Where's my sheet music? It's right there in front of you. Oh, I see it. Thanks.
be able to drive around or something. Let's go over the hills. Go up the hills, watch the sun go down. Small libation. Get a little tipsy, a little buzz going. Helen. Hey, what's up? Hey, baby. Hey, How you doing? what's up? How's it going? Good. Hey, uh, we were just uh, gonna go hang out. You wanna, you wanna come? I don't know. Do I? Come on, we'll go. We'll go chill, kick back. If you'll be fun. Uh, Helen. I don't know, also. guys. Harry needs a friend, so you know. Come on, Helen. Well, um. <laughs> Okay, actually, I was supposed to go meet up with my friend Ashley. Oh, come Sarah. take it. Bring her along. You guys, I can't leave my bike anyway, okay? Babe, take it with us. Come on. Take it with us. Listen, 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 listen. Oh! Yuck! Lewis! Here, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Give this to your brother. Here, give this to him. Hurry up! <laughs> Get it off of there. It's gonna stain, Lewis. Somebody gets in back and you gotta move over. Come on. So do you think you could save some lives on your own this afternoon? <laughs> come on, man, it's Saturday. As soon as the sun goes down, all the crazies come out. I'd love to help you out. But I got a date with an Indian princess. All right, enjoy yourself. things at the market, but she came out with two carts full. Yeah, I know how that is. How long till you get here? In a sec. We're heading on a Park Street right now. The point of this video is to make you more aware of motorcyclists and to keep you from having a crash with one. We're not trying to single out any one type of person or group. Any one of the characters in the movie could be you at some point in your life. All kinds of good people can make wrong choices on the road. None of us think that we are bad drivers or that we will ever hurt someone, but statistics show that almost every driver will be in at least one car crash in their lifetime. Now, we're not just talking to you drivers. Motorcyclists aren't perfect either. When I'm driving my car, I tend to notice motorcycles more because I ride. In the majority of accidents involving motorcyclists in a car, the car driver is responsible. Now, motorcycles are narrow and that makes them harder to see. And sometimes we blend into the background or get hidden by other vehicles, even signs and buildings. A smart motorcyclists do what they can to be more conspicuous and minimize risk. Even so, if you've never ridden, you'll tend not to notice motorcyclists. So it's important for you to pay particularly close attention at intersections, oh, driveways and freeway ramps too. Now, none of us ever wants to hit anybody, car, motorcycle, kid on a bicycle or skateboard, or that kid who's just following a ball out into the street. And you can avoid it. S-E-E-C. -E -E it's search, evaluate, execute. Now, search is the process of scanning aggressively for potential hazards in your path to the front, sides, and behind you. 
evaluate is to judge how single or multiple hazards might affect you and plan ways of preventing conflicts. Execute is to act correctly and decisively to avoid the hazard and maintain a safety cushion around you. Motorcyclists use it, you can too. Using C, simple steps, can save a life, even your own. Now remember, a motorcyclist could be anyone, a friend, a relative, or, or even a doctor who rides his or her motorcycle to work and then saves a life. Please don't let me see you in the ER. Let's be careful out there. Okay, so most teenagers don't act like the ones in the video, but still, I want to tell you something about us, teens. The fact is, we are unique. Researchers do studies on us all the time because they want to know why so many teen drivers crash every year. You're probably thinking that this is a waste of time. You are a good driver, right? But if car crashes kill more of us than anything else and we are usually at fault in those crashes, we can't be all that good. Just do the math. The weird thing is, those same studies say we know driving is risky, but we take risks anyway. And I'm not just talking about speeding. It's things like being distracted, too many sudden lane changes, not signaling, and not looking over our shoulder that are most likely to take out a motorcyclist. Statistically, we're usually at fault, and we're overconfident. Our inexperience makes us the most dangerous in our first year of driving. We haven't mastered anything but the basics by then, but of course we think we have. Our brain's capacity to multitask, control our impulses, and assess risk isn't fully developed until we're in our 20s. But now that you know that, what are you going to do about it? Are you ready to pay more attention? Are you willing to increase your safety margins? Driving isn't just about gas, braking, and steering. It's about attitude, judgment, and courtesy. Did you see that? We both looked, but still didn't see each other until it was almost too late. Sometimes our need to fit in makes us do things when our friends are around that we wouldn't normally do. And then we show off. And do you think any of this gets easier when you're drinking? Wrong. You're more likely to kill someone, your friend in the passenger seat, someone crossing the street, or yourself when you're buzzed. We all know someone who rides a motorcycle or scooter. And we all know it's easy to make a mistake in a car that can injure you or someone else. So really keep an eye out for riders and avoid the crash. Keep what you've seen here in mind when you're driving. At the very least, please double check for motorcyclists, especially when you're around intersections or changing lanes. Have fun, be safe, and I'll see you guys out there.